Hello guys, I would like to welcome you all in this very short video of solar energy harvest. In this video, I will show you how a typical solar energy harvester circuit works and how the circuit can be implemented to power up the wireless sensor modes. And this solar energy harvester circuit consists of mainly two components. A one is supercapacitor and another one is the solar panel. Inside this enclosure box, we have the solar energy harvester circuit, which I will show you in a bit. I'll open the, the cover of that enclosure box and show you what is actually there inside. But before that, let me say this, like uh, we have a solar energy harvester circuit which also contains uh, lots of other circuitry uh, which I don't think I'm gonna tell here in detail because it will take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna give you an overview like how uh, uh, supercapacitors are being used to power up the uh, wireless sensor modes and how the solar panel is you know charging that solar uh, uh, I mean supercapacitors. So there's a wireless sensor mode inside the box which talks to the base station which is kind of like uh, 76 or 77 you know a uh, meter far away from here which is uh, kind of over there you know let me let me go to the spot where it can be visible yeah you see that you know, white uh, kind of like shade and we also have a tower yeah in that tower uh, we have a, a base station over there so what it does is that uh, this wireless sensor mode you know uh, collects the the data uh, such as soil moisture relative humidity temperature solar radiation you know uh, and yeah it stops like that we can add uh, whatever sensor we like here so this looks like this from like outside see that's a solar panel 1.5 watt 12 volt and this little white cylindrical a cylindrical uh, thing is the solar radiation sensor, also called pyranometer. Okay, yeah, let me show you what is inside. Here we go. So, this is the, the solar energy harvester circuit. The two blue things, the, these are uh, supercapacitors. 3 volt 50 farad supercapacitors so they are powering up the wireless sensor mode which is this one green one uh, it's this is Moteno one of the wireless sensor modes and this black thing is a regulator voltage regulator and this This one is current sensor. So what basically happens is during daytime the supercapacitors get charged by solar panel 
and you know at the same time they power the wireless sensor mode and during night or wherever there is no sun uh, the supercapacitors hold enough charge to power up this wireless sensor mode in this design they can hold up to five days without the sun without any charging source uh, you can probably see that blinking LED which indicates there is a power source a charging source right now you can clearly see it's quite sunny day and we have sun directly falling on the solar panel so we do yes we do have a charging source for now so you might be wondering why we why I'm using supercapacitors and not battery and actually that's a kind of like huge topic but mainly there are two reasons one is they their life is much longer than a typical lithium ion or you know uh, uh, any any battery and another thing is like they can hold uh, extreme temperatures as compared to battery okay yeah also the supercapacitors can charge and discharge completely unlike battery they can be discharged completely without ruining them okay also I mean they have kind of like very fast charging discharging cycle all right that's it I hope this short video of mine is at least a little bit informative for you and I hope you like the video thank you for watching thank you bye bye